Hi, I'm wondering, what do you think it is to be old? What do you think it's like to be old and to live with a chronic condition like cancer or arthritis or heart disease? When you think about these ideas, are most of what you consider kind of negative or sad or unfortunate feeling? That's true for many people, but in fact, I think the opposite is true for many people who have attained older, older ages, um, ages of 75, 95, or even over 100. Hi, I'm Sarah Kagan, and I am a nurse. I've been a nurse for 35 years. I'm a professor in the School of Nursing, and I'm the Gerontology Clinical Nurse Specialist in the Abramson Cancer Center at Pennsylvania Hospital in our Joan Carnell Supportive Care Program. And as a clinician and a scientist, it's really my job to bring to light what is missing, what we don't understand, the gaps in our knowledge about what I'm interested in. And what I'm interested in is what it's like to be an older person and live the life you want to live. So I find every opportunity. I capitalize on connections, places, people, and all sorts of science, as well as the arts and humanities, to think about making aging and being older better, not just for the people who are older today, but because aging is a human experience, I aim to make it better for all of us who hope to age and age well. You might wonder, how have I been doing this for 35 years and why did I de decide to focus on the things that I do? Well, that really stretches back to my own childhood. I got interested in understanding what it is to be older, not because I want to help older people per se, though as a nurse, as a person, I love to help all people. I got involved, I got interested because I realized I loved learning from older people. And I knew that at a very early age. So much of what I've enjoyed studying learning, investigating, and discovering throughout my life, even before I was a nurse, have, has to do with learning through the wisdom of others, learning from older people. As someone who came to nursing after an undergraduate degree at the University of Chicago in behavioral science, you might not be surprised to know that I actually use behavioral techniques um, and approaches, research methods, to do almost all of my work. And those are really best described as qualitative methods. I studied behavioral science, so psychology, um, social psychology in particular, sociology, anthropology, and related fields um, in my undergraduate years before I did my undergraduate degree in nursing. And those methods, those approaches, those ways of knowing in the world have stayed with me throughout my career, throughout my life really, because I imagine that I'll always use them. So the research that I do entails interviews and observations to recognize what it is that the people who are living the experience that I want to know more about have to say about it, how they reflect on it, what they make of it, how they analyze the experiences they have, the meaning they synthesize from it. So I really make use of what other people know of themselves and the people around them, their lives, their worlds, and I aim to stay true to their knowing as I bring together, synthesize a greater, a larger understanding for use in healthcare, in social care, and in public education, which is something that I love to do as, if you will, a product of the research that I conduct with my clinician colleagues and especially with students. 
I've always enjoyed working with undergraduate students from nursing and from all other majors. Anyone can be interested in the human experience of aging and what it is to be old. So I welcome all students to get involved with my research, learn more, and figure out how they can find their own place in it. Uh, make their own discoveries and go on perhaps to their own scientific careers, their own clinical careers if they're interested in healthcare, or to influence social care, policy, and many other aspects of our aging world. Thanks. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll look forward to talking to you more about what it is to be old. Take care. Bye-bye.